Art can be created out of anything, under almost any circumstance. This show is about watching artists create in real time. You don't need to know anything about art to watch this show, because this isn't your typical art gallery. It's a place where artists come to push the boundaries of their creativity. And you can count on one thing, it's going to get messy. So let's get things rolling and meet tonight's artist. Jace was born and raised in South Korea, and he is actually ambidextrous, so he can draw and paint with both hands at the same time. I was born left-handed. In Korea, when you are left, you are not right, as in right, right? So my mom actually forced me to use right hand, but I was secretly using my left the whole time when I was drawing. I'm a traditional artist. I use oil and acrylic, many different mixed media. My artwork is based on the idea of subconsciousness, everything that comes from your inner self interested in exploring your subjects from every angle and multiple points of view all at once. So artists, this challenge is all about turning things on their head. But because it's Crash Gallery, not only will your perspective be turned upside down, so will you! We will be strapping you to these inversion tables and flipping you upside down to create portraits of an audience member of your choice. So when I say create, you have 30 minutes to choose your subject, get strapped in, and paint your portrait. The twist is, your portrait must reveal something new or different about your subject. You guys ready? Set. Create! <laughs> what are they going to choose? <laughs> so you'll paint last night. So I'm waiting to see what he, he can see from me that I don't even know about myself. Cool. Well, hopefully it's something you like. I hope so too. <laughs> my strategy is that I'm going to use my special ambidextrous style. It's always sort of perfectly symmetry, almost like a computer. It's my signature thing. That is super impressive. <laughs> Getting upside down is a huge challenge. Oh, this is a lot of blood coming out to me. I'm impressed that no one's thrown up yet. <laughs> Biggest problem is what you observe is upside down. Conceptualizing it is tough. But I like the feeling of getting used to it and be able to do something that I didn't expect to do. I can actually stay like this forever. Okay, everybody, 20 minutes on the clock. 20 minutes left. Okay, let's go. I love this challenge. It makes me think of Jackson Pollock floating above the canvases in his studio, you know, getting a different perspective. I love it. I want that to be a part of the team. 30 seconds ago, it was Jay's, but I might change my mind. What's... Woo! Lumpy, lumpy. We're at 13 seconds. Hey, everybody! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Now it's time to hear from all three artists about their work. Jace, you're up first. The challenge was to reveal something new and different about your subject. So tell me what we're seeing here. I talked to the Arbor about how people came to Canada from a different culture. I wanted to express the struggle, like language barriers, like sometimes discrimination. So the elements of abstraction that we're seeing, the sort of expressive layering of the paint, yeah. that sort of and wild brush, yeah, like, that's about representing freedom. Yeah, that's also reference from the this idea of they don't concern too much about what they do and then they just go for it. You got free. Yeah, I got three. I got three. Tori is up next. Now, it is time for our experts to deliberate which two artists will move on to the final round. I loved watching Jace upside down, just going at it with both hands. That line of red that comes down the middle and just sort of makes the foreground and the background all one. So do we need to discuss this more? It's tough. I'm not sure we're set on two, but we have to agree. <laughs> The reason 
reason why I became an artist is because I want to express my emotions. Art is my only outlet that when I become tru truly myself. Who is the first artist to move on to the second round and the final challenge? The first artist used vibrant color, lots of expressionism, great political content. The first artist that's moving on is Jace. Jace! <laughs> So, Jace, you'll be competing in the final challenge alongside one of the remaining two artists. All right, everybody, it is time for our final challenge. This time, you, the fans, will vote to determine who takes home tonight's Crash Gallery trophy. The oldest known work of art is a third deer in a public space the future. <laughs> Artists, for your final challenge tonight, your task is to create an image inspired by technology. You will be working on these digital graffiti walls from our friends at Tangible Interaction. You got 30 minutes on the clock. You ready? Set? Create! Here they go. Now, in your new compositions, you must incorporate one element that's currently on the wall into your final work. And this is the piece the audience will vote on. Ready? Set. Switch. When Sean said switch wall, it was shocking. What? That's... Alina's composition was totally off from what I expected. Could have waited on the right. It's crazy. I can't erase it. So I had to like squeeze everything towards the middle. I am obsessed with Jace. He's incredible. His energy is amazing. You can constantly see that he's always thinking, he's on the go, and it's just mesmerizing. Team Jace! <laughs> we are officially halfway through this challenge. Okay, so color... The biggest problem that I encounter is that the color don't really blend together. So you get to see one layer of one color, one layer of one color. I just want to smudge it, but I can't do it. It's really frustrating. Five minutes left, finishing touches time! Yes. You got a lot going on here, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you taken a step back in the last five minutes? Actually, I didn't. You should take a step back. Yeah, yeah. This is the time to think about what can be added or something. <laughs> Okay, everybody, let's put down those cans and see how you did. Jace, the challenge was to make a statement about technology using this incredible technology. Tell me a little bit about some of the messages that are happening here. All the digital and everything, it looks good, but there's things happening in the internet world that are not acceptable. These two faces is eating up that text message speaking bubble. So they're sort of uh, being fed up, almost like choked. This is a dark statement on, the, on what technology does. Yeah, it is really dark at the same time. Uh, it's playful. Jace, thank you very much. Everybody give it up for Jace. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, Cyrus, what do you think? I'm sold by Jace. Okay. I love the, the painterly style, the application. The finished product is a beautiful, beautiful street art piece. I'm really feeling Jace's. It really brings a lot about social media and like how society is today. But then I thought the technique was a bit more sophisticated on uh, Jace's side. Okay, the votes are in and we have a winner. Tonight's Crash Gallery champion is... Jace. The trophy is yours, my friend. Congratulations. Crush Gallery has given me another opportunity to step up and I think I have improved as an artist. Winning is it's like icing on cake. Thank you all for hanging out and good night.